You don't know, you know? I'm a lady on the first day that I reggae dance hall. I'm here bring to you and you and you. What me say? Jamaica from the outside. Eh, eh. A Jamaica from the outside. And I'm me proud to be a Jamaica. But me say all of we barriers, them are broke down. All of we barriers, them are broke down. We are one united Jamaica. It's a gala, it's a spice of the soul. Guys, you won't believe the amazing culture and vibes of the Jamaican community in Florida until you see it for yourself. Welcome, guys. Welcome to another episode. sunshine and warmth lies a vibrant Jamaican community, proud of its culture. Today I am showcasing a Jamaican celebration in Florida where traditions come alive and spirits are high. persons here, we know that when Jamaicans come together to celebrate, it's more than just a party. It's a chance to reconnect with the Jamaican roots, to celebrate their identity, and just to create a little piece of Jamaica right here. Yes, thank you for asking me that wonderful question. It's very important to promote and support everything considering Jamaican, okay, culture. The reason being is because we have families and children, and especially the women, it's very important that we show them more than just the music, the food, the, the stories that were told, the certain customs. Um, it's rich in heritage, the national heroes, um, the importance of knowing that we can be everything aspire to be vice president and more all the way to a world famous athlete, a professor, engineering, a entrepreneur. Jamaican heritage and culture is rich. And in, here in Central Florida, it thrives. So thank you for having me today. Guys, amidst the laughter and togetherness, you almost can feel the sense of pride within the hearts of the persons who gather here. They carry with them that spirit of Jamaica, a spirit of resilience, unity, and endless possibility. You know that when Jamaicans gather, there has to be food in the midst. So here we are with a variety of Jamaican dishes, from spicy jerk chicken and escovitch fish, to rice and peas, to plantains, and sweet treats. Each bite is a culinary journey back to the island of Jamaica. How important do you think it is for us to carry on with the Jamaican culture here abroad? Then, okay, and that's a very good question you're asking. Over the 31 years that I've been teaching in Orlando, I'm, I feel like it's very important for us to spread our culture. Because even with our children, we, start, we need to start at home with our children and our grandchildren, and then we spread it abroad. So it's very important to share, to share especially the what, what you did in Jamaica when you were younger with your grandparents. Because I remember my time 
of going on the, the diesel to a balaclava and going on the diesel then I spent time with my grandfather and that was very important but what was so important is the whole idea of prayer because prayer was always the key we always had devotion of time so it's always important to share our culture yes. with our children our grandchildren and the rest of the world yes. Is a trouble to a man. The shiny eye girl is a trouble to a man. She wants it, she wants that, she wants everything. She eyes. As this video comes to a close, let us remember this moment of celebration, of unity, and of unwavering spirit of the Jamaican community in Florida. All right.